Okay, welcome back. Um, episode three, I mean four, of the tutorial Let's Play. So, um, in the last episode, we uh, dug down almost 25 blocks. Here we are at the uh, cave that I dug out. So, um, few notes here, so when you see me mining, getting out uh, iron, I also found some lead at the side here. Start mining these two guys and, and head out. It's almost morning, 4 o'clock, so head out safely where the zombies don't run. here this stuff I'll be bringing with me because I need it at night. leave those there For now, we'll we have to get our first forge going. I think for today, what we'll focus on is reaching up the horse biome. Then try to get our first forge. Alright, get our first forge. Well, as uh, so I'll talk a bit about hunting problems. Think about a uh, oh, let's play. Is it informative? If there's something you would like to know, just let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll do my best to answer your questions. Excuse me. Actually. 
it looks like what we have here is the burnt biome. It's a lot of dead trees, burnt down trees. So that's how you first kill it. These guys are burning, don't let them hit you because uh, they will turn, they'll put you on fire. So, the cousin before, come close. Here you see a lot of trees and birds' nests. Hot in this biome, burn biome. Um, what you could do is just dunk yourself in the water, and then that will cool you down as well. So, ill, ill. Ow, ow, ow. Didn't pay attention, just speaking up on me. So. So, you can still oh, finish up this tree. some coal. We well, need at least some. Make glass for now. Here's the water I was talking about. Just drink yourself in it, get yourself wet, and then Cool down. Oh, three birds nests. Someone sees me. No, oh, there you are. So what I'll do is I'll just follow this and then I see something. So the arrow, it actually um, applies 50% bleeding, so even if you hit it once, you probably have a good chance of pig bleeding out, so you can see the arrows here, bleeding 50%. Not sure if it works on zombies, but it works on animals, so pigs deer, if you hit them once, they have a good chance of bleeding out. So here you can see that I'm using bone shift to pick up the pig. So, uh, the way to get animal uh, hides, which you will need for your forge, and also for uh, meat. These guys, the one here. biome. So you'll find a lot more animals in this forest biome, which I'll need because I need 20 of these hides in order to make in order to make a, a forge, which you'll need to get basic tools. So your first set of basic tools will come up from the forge. Oh, 
So in here, on a lot of trees. So this is one of the main reasons I came to this biome, because you get a lot of trees, and which is good for wood. That for now. Make sure I'm not sensed. And I probably need a new bow. Actually, don't make that yet. Repair this first. And make it. So that you'll get that extra. So, empty your arrows by choosing zero. Let's scrap that. And continue on. So, take a lot of wood in the beginning because you'll use it like no tomorrow. So I have 15 frames now. I'll just max that out, like however much I can, and then continue on. Or at least this is how I play. Frames are very, very useful, so I tend to keep a lot of them on. And then you can see also that I got some maple seeds. This is good for transplanting, um, transplanting trees. So if you're in an area like the desert, it's good to get some of this so that you don't run out of trees. And trees, actually, they grow the best in fertile or just dirt. So if you're planting it on sand or any other type of blocks, they don't grow as well. So it's good to get some dirt and turn them into either uh, a dirt plant. So um, let me just show you. So you can see that you get fertile dirt or dirt fragment fragments out of this. So if you get enough, you can use it to make these guys. So the forest ground and the grassy grounds are the best. Um, forest ground, grassy ground, and plains ground are the best to plant these trees and they will get to the max durability, which is 1200 you see in this tree. Otherwise, they grow to maybe like just 300 or 900, not to the max state. <clears throat> Always good to duck um, while you're just hitting trees or boulders because uh, if this green doesn't doesn't just randomly go bright, it means that you're undetected. So it's a good way to zombies see you see or not. So this is a small tree. I'll probably in the other biomes like the forest or um, the sand or the desert, they'll grow only up to this. Tree. are always good. Blew it in them. And I see a pig. Get up and shoot. We hit him. Very likely that it's gonna bleed out. So I just got a lucky second page. Senses me while I'm getting meat. So 
again you see here the nose it means that I have raw meat and it smells so it notifies all the zombies around this area within that block radius that I'm around here so it's good to keep the meat away from you or to just not hold any meat during the night because uh, you'll let the zombies know where your location is. Bird's nest. Here is gravel. So you can see this in any biome. So just look for the 100 hit points uh, sand looking thing. And then pig over there. again don't let them hit your legs Oh, black shades. Interesting. And bullet tips, I don't have enough. Just leave those there. Desert church. I need to find a bit more animals here. Pigs are actually the easiest ones to take care of because uh, they're slow and you can actually run up to them and hit them if you have enough stamina. Since I uh, have a lot of health, I'll just use those up. Detected. And so, what will I dump? Only need to see this. Take the gun. So, every single POI that you see, um, you'll see zombies spawn, and uh, you'll have to take care of them first. I'm not actually gonna, not gonna break in. Uh, actually, maybe I should break into it. But let's see a deer. That, my friends, is the bleeding damage. For the hide. And that, my friends, is the end of this episode. Um, actually, do you know what? I will show you.
you how to make a torch. Oh, excuse me. There. Kill this guy first. Okay, I'm detected. That's perfect. And when you duck, um, your loot time actually increases. So it's good to uh, not be ducking if if you want to loot fast. So, just in case you didn't know. So here, I have 20 hide. Go into your recipes and you can make a bellow. So using this bellow. Just need wood, animal hide, and short iron pipe. I only have one, so I can make that. And what I could use the bellow for? Forge. So I have the clay. I have the small stone. I just need one more iron pipe, which I could get relatively easily. So um, I will show you how to put together a forge in the next episode. So oh, let's check it out. Chicken, resource for feathers and meat. So, whenever you get a chance, start chasing them and just whack them. Preferably with a knife. So, um, we will leave it at that. So, see you next uh, episode, which is going to be episode 5.